Hey everyone, day two, Wizard World Chicago has come to an end. I had a heck of a day today and uh, I picked up quite a few things. I didn't get to take much video because I was walking around and trying to make deals left and right. So um, I do have a few clips which I'm going to show you here now. But uh, after that, I'll show you my haul. It's a, it's a pretty big haul, so uh, I am excited to show you that. So stay tuned for these clips, and then we'll go right to the haul. Thanks. So yeah, not too much video taken at the show today, but one of the main things that I did want to share was those DC Multiverse uh, figures from that new Doomsday Wave. Those things look awesome. Uh, I was able to get video of the Carrie Kelly Robin, the Supergirl, and the Super Doomsday, which looked very, very cool. Um, the one that I didn't get video of is actually the best one in that line so far, but it is the uh, Armored Batman. Uh, I saw one at someone's booth. He had it uh, for 40 bucks. I uh, didn't want to pay $40 for it. It's going to be in stores soon for, you know, $20. But, uh, man, that figure looks fantastic. Uh, I'm really excited for that wave. So, um, even though they're not doing a very good job with the movie figures in the DC Multiverse line, the um, comic book figures look tremendous. So, I'm really looking forward to that wave when it hits stores, and I'm definitely going to be picking those up. But, let's get right to the haul. I have a lot of stuff that I want to show. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of zip through it. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because we'll be here all night if I did that. So I'm gonna start with a thing that um, most people probably are not that interested in. That's why I'm starting with it. But uh, I do collect wrestling figures. Specifically, I collect the WWE Elite figures and I did pick up four of those today. Um, there's a big wrestling presence at this show. Uh, John Cena's there, Seth Rollins is there, Dean Ambrose is there. Uh, big wrestling uh, presence at these Wizard World shows, so there were quite a few dealers that were selling wrestling figures. So I picked up new Day Rocks. I got Xavier Woods. What's the name of that trumpet again? <laughs> I forgot that. Francesca or something? I don't know. He named that trumpet, but um, I already have the Kofi, so figured I would get the uh, Xavier, and I'm looking forward to the Biggie when he comes out too. Uh, next one I got is Lucha, Lucha Kalisto. Really cool looking figure there. I like that they're using a, a new size for these shorter guys. Um, for Kalisto, he's a real short figure, but it's a uh, it's pretty cool scale. So I got Kalisto. I got the show off. The wannabe Shawn Michaels, Dolph Ziggler. Um, got Dolph Ziggler and I got the last one is the Hobbit himself Adrian Neville I like Adrian Neville a lot and this one also uses the smaller um, body that he's real short he's only 5'8 uh, so it uh, uses the shorter body but this is a cool figure got those four wrestling figures so next in the hall is this spider Gwen PVC statue um, they started making these statues. They did a Lady Deadpool, a Captain Marvel, and I think this is the third one in the line. It's Spider Gwen. They did a variant for this uh, where she's uh, unmasked, unhooded, but I just thought that this looked really, really cool. It's PVC, so it's not too expensive. They go for about $40 to $50, but uh, it's got a nice backdrop there as well. It's a very cool statue at a pretty good price. So that was another one that I picked up. And then this one is the most random thing that I never even thought that I would purchase, but.
this is a mother box. This is the DC Comics mother box replica prop. It's awesome is what it is. <laughs> it, uh, it's got flashing lights. It's got three different sounds. This is the ping, ping, ping. Um, and it's got this, I assume that's teleporting you to another dimension, but this is freaking cool. Um, I saw this and uh, I looked it up on eBay because I had never seen it before. And they sell for, I don't know, like 40, 50, $60. And uh, I got it for $25. So um, I like things like this that are kind of just kind of weird and random. It's a mother box. It's a, a prop replica mother box. So I picked that up as well. So next in the haul, uh, one of the main Marvel Legends that I've been looking for, uh, I had mentioned it in previous videos, I've been looking for the, the new Spider-Man wave with the Space Venom Build-A-Figure. And what I was most interested in in that wave is the Space Venom itself. I read Venom Space Knight, uh, I read that comic and I love that comic. I'm really digging that book and I really like that character and the design, everything about that book. Everything about that character I'm a big fan of. So, of course, I wanted to build that figure, but I did happen to find one already built, and I picked it up. So I picked up the Build-A-Figure from that wave. Um, there's Space Venom with his Guardians of the Galaxy emblems on his shoulders. Looking just awesome. Probably one of my favorite Build-A-Figures to come out, I don't know, in years. Just really like that one. So I picked that one up. There's a few figures in that wave that I was interested in. I didn't want the whole wave. I'm not interested in, um, there's like a Silk and there's like a spy, it's another Spider Girl. Um, wasn't really interested in those, but what I was interested in was this one. Electro, classic Electro. They also, he comes with his uh, modern head. But because I bought the Space Venom, I didn't need to buy these carded figures, so I bought them loose. So I got them at a pretty good price. Got the Electro. I got the new Hobgoblin with his glider there. Again, I bought it loose. Didn't need it on card, didn't need to build a figure. He came with his, you know, all of his parts. There's his extra head and a little pumpkin bomb. And then the, uh, the other one that I really liked in this wave was Miles Morales, Spider-Man. So he came with all of his little accessories as well. So yeah, loose figures, got them at a good price, didn't need the build a figure parts, got the entire build a figure. So um, I got those, and then I also picked up another build a figure. It is the Brood build a figure but uh, this build a figure is just awesome looking got the little mouth that opens and closes but uh, really happy with this build a figure here I got that at a pretty good price and then the last these are all my loose pickups the last loose pickup I have I'm a big fan of Green Lantern I love the new comic the new DC Rebirth Hal Jordan and the Green Lanterns and I found Kilowog so I bought the Kilowog Build-A-Figure slash Collect and Connect from that DC Universe Classics line. So those are all my loose pickups today. And what do I got left? Pops. You guys wanna see what pops I got today? So obviously yesterday I got the three pops. I got the two Masters of the Universe pops, the uh, Hordak and Spycor, and I got Vincent Vega. Let me show you which ones I picked up today. Okay, so um, like I said, I was wheeling and dealing. I went to a few dealers tables and I did uh, a few trades. And um, I picked up a couple of things in trade that uh, I already have, but I picked them up as duplicates for future trade bait opportunities. The uh, Teen Titans pops, uh, I got Starfire, <clears throat> Raven is Wonder Woman. Robin is Batman. Picked up uh, that set. I am really looking forward to that Beast Boy is Martian Manhunter and the Cyborg is Green Lantern. Looking forward to those additional ones in that wave. But uh, pick those up. We'll see what I can trade uh, down the road for those. 
So here are the ones that I don't have that I'm very, very happy to pick up. The first one that I picked up was this one. It is the GameStop Batman. Uh, from what it looks like to me, it's not labeled as such, but it's the 89 Batman, the Michael Keaton Batman. It's the same outfit from that movie, but uh, basically it's a variant of that number one pop right there um, with the all black outfit. As soon as I saw this, this was like Michael Keaton Batman. So I picked him up. Happy I got that one. Picked up Mr. Carl Drogo. He's getting harder and harder to find. I don't know if he's vaulted yet, but uh, he is harder and harder to find. I got him for $10, so um, I figured that was a good price. But I uh, picked up Carl Drogo. I uh, picked up, now you saw that Spider-Gwen uh, PVC statue that I picked up. I also picked up a Spider-Gwen pop. So I got the Walgreens exclusive unmasked Spider-Gwen. And then the last pop that I picked up today, it is the Walgreens exclusive unmasked Black Panther. So those were the pops that I picked up today at uh, Wizard World Chicago. Uh, I was actually thinking about buying some other ones that I saw there. Uh, they had uh, some of the Walgreens exclusive, Taskmaster, Black Suit Spider-Man, Iron Spidey. But uh, as I was walking around, I was uh, checking YouTube and I saw that they're starting to hit uh, at Walgreens, some of those restocks. So uh, I'm actually planning on doing the uh, the Walgreens loop as I call it. I have six Walgreens that kind of surround my house in a circle and I'm gonna hit all six of those uh, sometime this weekend uh, and try and find some of those. I mean there's a ton of stuff at Walgreens right now. They have uh, obviously those Marvel restocks. They have the uh, exclusive Ray, uh, where she's giving the lightsaber to uh, Luke at the end. They have the new Punisher uh, Marvel Legends exclusive is supposedly out. And then they have the uh, Juggernaut wave, and I'm still looking for that damn Deadpool. So I'm going to be looking for all that stuff. Hopefully I find some of it. The last thing that I picked up, I picked up for my daughters. And uh, they are starting to become uh, bigger fans of superheroes, which makes me very happy. I decided to buy them a little present while I was here. I can't buy a toy for one and not buy something for the other. So here's what I got for them. Uh, I've seen these rock candy figures. They're, I think they're made by Fun. Yeah, they're made by Funko. Um, but uh, I've seen them in stores before. I thought they looked pretty cool, and I thought that my girls would love them. So, I got one Wonder Woman, and I got another Wonder Woman. I got the uh, the classic comic book Wonder Woman, and then I got the uh, Gal Gadot Batman Superman Wonder Woman. So this one's probably going to go to uh, my oldest, my six-year-old, and this one's going to go to the three-year-old. So. I hope they like these. Uh, I was really looking for stuff for them. I hope they like those. But that was my haul for today. Uh, that was my haul for Wizard World Chicago. I'm actually headed back home tomorrow. But that's it for now. I had a good time here in Chicago. A lot of cool stuff going on here. So if you are headed to uh, Wizard World Chicago, hope you have fun. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And have fun collecting.